In your next power bill, a spike in cost after a week of record-breaking energy usage. Dominion Energy says there is one way to prevent spikes like this in the future. That is building the Atlantic Coast Pipeline. The utility claims the problem comes down to transportation. But Jacqueline Lee found some aren't buying Dominion's new pitch. The folks here at Dominion Energy say the higher bills demonstrate not an issue with natural gas supply, but with its transportation. The snow may be gone, but Hampton Roads will feel its impacts for some time, specifically in the wallet. People were staying inside more and using a lot more electricity. Bonita Billingsley Harris with Dominion Energy said those energy prices will be going up. Our current pipelines are overtaxed. They're stretched thin. And when the weather gets really cold like this, we feel the impact. The prices go up. The Atlantic Coast Pipeline would transport natural gas, running 600 miles underground starting in West Virginia, through Chesapeake and Suffolk, and into North Carolina. But there have been a lot of protests in the past fighting against it. Worried homeowners think it'll contaminate their water. All pipelines are known to leak. Quan Baker, local organizer for the Chesapeake Climate Action Network, said she's not buying Dominion's new reason for the pipeline. They'll say anything to, to, to do what they want to do. The executive director of her organization said there are environmental impacts, like 10 to 60 feet of mountaintops being removed from the Appalachian ridges, causing irrevocable harm to the region's environmental resources. We understand there's strong feelings and we want to make sure everyone's voices are heard, but there are facts that support the need for the Atlantic Coast Pipeline and the extreme cold weather that we've experienced and the record high prices of natural gas reinforce that. All right, we want to give you a better look at where the proposed pipeline could run. Coming from the west, the pipeline would travel through Isle of Wight and Suffolk before ending in Chesapeake. Also, the pipeline's path, the Western Branch Reservoir and Lake Prince, both supply water for cities on the south side. 